The House will come to order. Prayer by the chaplain. Our gracious God of all, who are in the heaven, we are coming together in the, in the business of the day to offer our thanks and pray to you for the gift of our state, our leader, and its population, for the abundance of your love and resources. We have been blessed to be elected as the servant of the people of Minnesota. We come to you for your wisdom, knowledge, and guide them. On every piece of legislative we bring to this house as we are assembled to do our work today. May you grant us your wisdom to us to move this state forward in the power of your way. We humbly to ask that you guide us to do all the good we can to all the people we can, in all the place that we can, we ask and pray in the name of the Father, amen. Members, the chaplain today is the Reverend Shih Tzu Vang from Wheelock United Methodist Church here in St. Paul. The Pledge of Allegiance. Members, please remain standing as we recite the Pledge of Allegiance to the flag of the United States. I pledge allegiance to the flag The clerk will take the roll. That's the batting order.
clerk will close the roll. A quorum is present. The clerk will read the journal from the preceding day. Journal of the House 89th session, 54th day, St. Paul, Minnesota, Tuesday, May 5th, 2015. If there is no objection, further reading of the journal will be dispensed with and the journal will be approved as corrected by the chief clerk. Seeing and hearing no objections, the journal stands as approved by the chief clerk. Reports from standing committees and divisions. A copy of this order of business has been placed at each member's desk. If there is no objection, the reports will be adopted. Hearing and seeing no objections, the reports are adopted. Second reading of House Files. Second, <coughs> second reading of House File number 1947. Second reading. Second reading of House File number 2193. Second reading. Introduction of House Bills and First Reading. The following House Files have been offered for introduction today. The Chief Clerk will report the House Files and give them their first reading. Introduction of first reading of House Files 2307 through 2309. First reading of House Files 2307 through 2309. Messages from the Senate. Message from the Senate, Mr. Speaker, I hereby announce the passage by the Senate of the following Senate Files herewith transmitted. Senate file numbers 239, 674, 1270, 1478, 1413, and the message is signed Joanne M. Zoff, Secretary of the Senate. First reading of Senate files. First reading of Senate file number 239, an act relating to public safety. The bill is being referred to the Committee on Public Safety and Crime Prevention Policy and Finance. First reading, Senate file number 674, an act relating to environment. Ugla moved that Senate file 674 and House file number 834, now on the general register, be referred to the Chief Clerk for comparison. Hearing no objections. Hearing no objections. So ordered. so ordered. First reading, Senate file number 1270, an act relating to public safety. The bill is being referred to the Committee on Public Safety and Crime Prevention Policy and Finance. First reading of Senate file number 1478, an act relating to corrections. Nash moved that Senate file number 1478 and House file number 1718, now on the general register, be referred to the Chief Clerk for comparison. Hearing no objections, so ordered. First reading of Senate file number 1413, an act relating to criminal justice. Simonson moved that Senate file number 1413 and House file number 1940, now on the general register, be referred to the Chief Clerk for comparison. Hearing no objections, so ordered. The member from Hennepin, the Majority Leader, Representative Pepin. Thank you, Mr. Speaker and members. I move a recess to the call of the chair until approximately 11 a.m. Rules will meet immediately after we go into recess uh, in, in the basement hearing room, and then GOP members will meet in caucus in room five. Representative Howe, for what purpose do you rise? Thank you, Mr. Speaker. Uh, members, today is Johnny Bread Day. So for your enjoyment back there, there's uh, all kinds of Johnny Bread. And the honey came from our resident beekeeper, Representative Heitzman. So uh, it's back there for your enjoyment. And uh, please enjoy until your heart's desired. Representative Purcells. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. I, I, just a brief announcement. Uh, at uh, 0900 this Friday, May 8th, uh, down in the Veteran Memorial Garden, right down by the Vets Building, uh, there's going to be a raising for the first time of the POWMIA flag. And uh, I invite uh, anybody that wants to show up to be there. There will be an honor guard. Um, and uh, hopefully it won't uh, interfere with what we're trying to do here. But I uh, um, appreciate anybody who wants to be there. Thank you. Representative Hortman. Um, thank you, Mr. Speaker. DFL members will caucus immediately after rules meets in room 200. Representative Pepin moves a recess of the House until approximately 11.30 a.m. to the call of the chair. Excuse me, 11 a.m. 11 a.m. to the call of the chair. All those in favor of the recess signify by saying aye. aye. Those opposed? 
The house stands in recess.